Hey guys, out my gamer back here for another video. Guys, welcome to a challenge video in uh, Fortnite. This is going to be the no weapon challenge. So, pretty much the idea of this whole entire gameplay, guys, is I'm not allowed to go ahead and get a weapon. Obviously, I can't do anything about my pickaxe, but weapon wise, I'm not allowed to get any weapon. The only stipulation is at the end of the game, if I'm literally about to die, and I see a weapon, I'm allowed to pick it up and shoot the guy. But the whole entire game, until that point, I am not allowed to, you know, kill someone. Unless the guy is literally right in front of me, and then I can go ahead and do it. But until that point, I have to go ahead and just hide and run from anyone I see so I don't go ahead and die. Now, again, this was kind of a uh, challenge I thought of. Once I went ahead, my teammate ended up dying right away. And, you know, I was kind of under attack. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just do a no weapon challenge. That's going to be a really cool idea. I think my the next video, guys, we might go ahead and do just uh, building up a fortress uh, in, you know, in the middle of the map and just sticking the, the whole entire game. Might try to do that next one. But as you can see right here, guys, <laughs> my opponent does go ahead and see me. But he does not know exactly that I run away from here. So I end up running away and going down this hill. He's blowing up the house behind me and I'm already halfway gone. So again, you know, going into this, I did not think I was going to last long at all. To be honest, I expected him to kill me with no weapon. But of course, you know, with no weapon, you're just going to have to go ahead and see what you can do. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here and see what we got out of here. Now again, I cannot get any kind of gun, explosives or anything like that. What I can get though is like, you know, shield and stuff like that, you know, stuff to protect me, but not that I could hurt anybody else in this game. So that's what I'm going ahead and trying to find here. I'm trying to find some kind of shield, some kind of armor, you know, something like that. But as you see in here, we have, I believe, not, yeah, we just have a brick. So nothing uh, really that great. So again, just trying to see if I can find anything. Obviously not a weapon, but, you know, something that I can use to help myself survive a little bit longer. So, again, with this strat, you really have to be careful when it comes to people running around. Because, you know, if you're not paying attention, you could easily get killed. And, again, I can't, you know, fight back. So, I have to go ahead and just take off running if I do go ahead and, you know, get shot at. So, um, at the end of this video, guys, we will be showing you guys a gameplay of me finishing top 5. Uh, on, on a solo match, so stay tuned for that. But again, as you can see right here, we're gonna go ahead from each house to house. And to be honest, all the people who have uh, landed here have already left. So I was in actually a good situation, to be honest, not having to go ahead and um, you know meet up with anybody. But right here, you see they already looted up here. They already looted uh, no chest, but they already looted all the way up there. So I went ahead and just banged this down, and I'm gonna go ahead and move on from this house. So again. Just a weird challenge I thought of. Tell me down below any other challenge ideas you have, guys, because I definitely want to try out more challenges on this game. I feel like it's a really, really fun time. So going to the left here, I believe we have a house in distance. Yes, we do have a house over there. And to be honest, like the uh, amount of people left, we're actually doing not that bad, especially without losing our teammate right away. We're actually doing a pretty good job actually doing, you know, not really, um, you know, losing too much. So right here, we do have to go ahead and go toward the center, but I think we're fine because I believe this wave is really slow, so we probably have plenty of time to get to that center. So, and especially with everyone running toward the center right now, I kind of want to stay away from everyone, you know, running toward the same exact area because, again, you know, one shot and I'm done. So I have to be, you know, careful with that. I have to be, you know, safe with that. Uh, building supplies is something I can use for this no weapon challenge because obviously, you know, building is not weapons. Uh, I did not go ahead and chop down any trees though, which is probably an L on my part. I should have went ahead and built, uh, you know, got some trees so I could go ahead and, you know, kind of build a fortress type of thing for myself, but took an L in that department. But uh, going forward here, let's go ahead and see what we got. I think we might see, no, we do not see anyone. So again, I kept looking back and forth because I was so scared of ending up seeing someone. Let's go ahead and go through this right here, and there's literally nothing in there except for wood, uh, which we got from, you know, uh, breaking it down. But, dang, guys, still have not seen any people. So we have literally ran in, once we started, we started with two people right next to us, one killing my teammate, and the other one I end up running from. And now, you know, we're literally top 40, and we have not seen any single person outside of, you know, those first two people. So the funny thing about this game is a lot of times, unless you land in a crowded city, you're going to not see anyone. You know, you're going to be like by yourself and not and really be secluded until you actually go ahead and blow up on someone. Or again, if you land in a popular city, then you're going to go ahead and see a lot of people. But until you do that, you're not going to see anyone. So it's kind of funny how that works. And, um, you know, kind of interesting how still to, to right now, I've not seen anyone now. 
to be honest, I wasn't really, uh, you know, thinking about looting now. Right now, I was thinking about just getting toward the center. Because, obviously, I don't want to take the L and end up dying from the storm. That would actually be the ultimate fail to this challenge. Uh, dying from, you know, a non-person. But, nonetheless, right here, we look in here. And we end up seeing that we have some blue gel. So, let's go ahead and apply that real fast. So, we can go ahead and get a shield. Again, no weapons. I mean, no assault rifles, grenades, nothing like that. We only can use armor and we can use buildings. So, not the easiest okay so as you see right here the uh that is exactly where it is and i believe right here i ended up seeing someone in the distance so i went ahead and went around because again i saw someone i'm like oh crap i don't want to go ahead and die right here so again a little bit more you know conservative i have to be in these games versus you know other types of games because again these games you know i could easily die i believe i saw someone building up there that's why i went ahead and ran around but the issue is, you know, they see me in one second and it's over pretty much. So going ahead and going to the circle here, you're going to see I'm finally getting to the circle. And then I start to see someone right away, which was the most scary thing ever. Because again, I did not want to die here. But starting off right away here, I end up going uh, behind this tree, hiding a little bit. And then right over that hill, straight forward, guys, northeast is literally two people building a fort. And I should have stayed here and I probably could have stayed here and just like chilled here and waited a little bit, you know, for the gas to start pushing in a little bit more and then moved in with that. But I decided to be aggressive here and check out if there was anybody around. And this is when I done fluffed up because they ended up seeing me when I went ahead and did this. So when I went ahead and went around here, the, over there, they actually saw me. And I didn't realize they saw me at first. I thought they didn't. But then I heard one sniper around and I'm like, oh crap, they heard me. So... This is my strategy here. I have to go ahead and run for that house right there. Avoid getting sniped by any sniper. I should have been jumping up and down. The only reason I wasn't in this gameplay was because I do not want to go ahead and, you know, it, it does not look good when it comes to the gameplay if I'm jumping up and down. So I went ahead and ran to that house right there. And this is when, as I said for the uh, challenge, if there's a gun in this house, I'm allowed to use it. Because this is the, the final match. You know, this is final. At this, ma at this point... If I, you know, if I go ahead and they up on me like this, I'm going to die. So this is when I said the only stipulation is I can use a gun in this situation. Now, again, until this point, I could not use a gun unless I'm literally about to die. And then I use a gun, you know, just to obviously maybe kill one of them um, in that moment. But right here, I go ahead and go inside of the um, house. And there is a shotgun. So I finally have a gun. I finally can use it. And again, the only reason I did that was because on my right here, there is somebody. Now, I did go ahead and uh, down him, but his teammate ended up coming in and killing me. So, it didn't really matter. But nonetheless, guys, that's going to be the challenge right there. Again, nice challenge. No weapon challenge. Again, I did not use it until the very end. I know that someone's going to say, like, well, you can't do that. You have to, you know, use it the whole... You can't use it until... Oh, you can't use it the uh, whole game. But, I mean, I was about to die. So, I decided, you know what... Bluff it. I'm going to die anyway, so why not just try to take out one, you know, teammate, uh, one of his teammates uh, before I do. Now, again, tell me down below what you guys think of that. Do you guys, uh, what's called, what's the next challenge I should do for Fortnite? But right here, this is going to be a top five finish in Fortnite solos. So pretty much what happened was I did have the vantage point, and I should have stayed here. And this is a mistake I make a lot is I push way too often. You know, I, I should be more conservative and sit back and kind of get a vantage point and let people kill themselves off. But instead of that, I go really aggressive sometimes, and I go just, you know, uh, guns are blazing, and I just go ahead and bam, 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 and I attack people right away. I should sit back, but um, I'm more aggressive when it comes to Fortnite a lot of times, and that's what ends up getting me killed. So right here, I'm actually playing more of the conservative route, where I'm not going ahead and attacking anyone yet. I'm kind of just sitting back and waiting for everyone to kind of, you know, come in and, you know, pretty much destroy each other. And that's what got me to this top seven point. You see, I did have one kill in this game, uh, which was earlier in the game. Nothing too special. The guy just went ahead and pretty much ran away from me. I followed him, and I shot him in the back and killed him. So top seven right now. And again, playing a little bit more conservative. And I'm going to go ahead and hit this guy from far distance. So he's going to go ahead and run back uh, behind the mountain. And this is when, you know, top seven, when the circle starts getting really small. This is when everything starts getting pretty, pretty crazy. So, yeah. It's going to get interesting right now. As you can see, again, top seven. And I'm going ahead and just pushing this guy a little bit. Um, to be honest, like, again... 
I, I would love to finish and beat this game, you know, finish number one. But the issue I feel like is it gets a little bit too boring when it comes to that. Like, if you just sit back there, you can literally camp in a solo match for the whole entire game. Just, you know, run into the uh, circle at the last seconds and just pretty much camp the whole entire game and finish top five. I didn't want to do that this game. Even though I did have only have one kill, I did go ahead and push a lot of people. But a lot, what a lot of people did was they just ran away from me. And I feel like that happens more often than not. But top five right here guys and you're gonna see i'm gonna end up pushing someone because again i don't want to just sit back there and do nothing i want some action in this game so i'm gonna go ahead and push this guy uh pretty much get a vantage point on this guy on the right hand side that was going ahead and you know hiding behind that mountain and then i wanted to go ahead and push it to the left hand side and see if we can see anybody now what ends up fluffing me up here is i end up pushing the guy on the right and what he ends up doing is he ends up hiding. Now, you're going to see here, I, I see a guy on the left side, and I end up pushing him instead. Well, if you if I had any logic in this game, you would know, well, if you push the guy on the left, then the guy on the right is going to come in and shoot you and flank you. And I should have went ahead and thought about that, but I didn't. So I went ahead and shot the guy over here to the left. You see he's right there on the left, right next to the, uh, ne yeah, right next to the tree. And I probably should not have done that, but again, playing a little bit more aggressive, so it's a more entertaining of a gameplay. I didn't want to make this gameplay this boring, so I went ahead and pushed this guy. And again, that guy on the right, that was right there, is going to go ahead and push me. So I end up finishing top three, which is honestly crazy, and I could have definitely went ahead and killed this guy. I should have pushed the guy on the right, flanked him, destroyed him then been top two and then went ahead and destroyed this guy and, and killed him but again i ended up taking the l here because again you see on the right he flanked me and he ends up killing me right here can end up running to the left and obviously this guy gets me so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe button see you guys in the next one peace out